Hello team and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be taking a look at both the COUNTIF and COUNTIFS functions in Excel. The COUNTIF function can help you determine how many cells meet a specific criteria. And with the COUNTIFS function, we can look at multiple different variables within our spreadsheet to determine how many times all criteria are met. Let's jump in. On our spreadsheet, we have information about different candy stores, the items they sell, whether or not they're items in stock, sale price, and numbers sold. To start with the basics, let's use the COUNTIF function to determine how many times the word gummies appears within our spreadsheet for candy name. I'll begin by entering COUNTIF. This function has only two required arguments, the range for where you're looking for your criteria and the criteria you're looking for. For the range, I'll highlight the entire column of candy name, enter a comma, and then for the criteria, you could either type out the word gummies in quotations, or you could click a cell with the word gummies located in there. I'll close the parentheses and click enter. And you see Excel returns our correct result of two. Now I'd like to determine all the cells that contain the word gummies, whether it's gummies by itself or sour gummies together. In order to do this, I can again use the count if function. So I'll enter that in. The range will be the same as before, so I'll highlight the candy name column, enter a comma. This time in quotations, I'm going to enter the word gummies, but I'm also going to put the asterisk symbol around the word. This allows Excel to make a partial match and return a count of all cells containing the word gummies, even if it isn't gummies by itself. So now I'll close the parentheses and click enter. And you see Excel returns the correct result of four. We have two cells with just the word gummies and two with sour gummies. Now let's jump into the count ifs function in Excel, which allows you to test multiple variables and return a count when all those variables are met. To start off with the basics here, I'm gonna look for all occurrences where the word gummies appear and those gummies are in stock at that particular store. I'll start by entering the count ifs function. Like the previous function we looked at, there's only two required arguments, the criteria range and the criteria you're looking for. But remember, you can continue adding variables as needed. For criteria range one, we'll again highlight the column for candy name. After a comma, criteria one is that we're looking for gummies. Another comma, and then for criteria range two, we'll highlight the column for stock status. After another comma, Remember, we are looking to see instances where they are in stock. Now that my arguments have been input, I'll close parentheses and click enter. And you see Excel again returns our correct result. We have one match where both those criteria are true. Okay team, now let's get a bit more advanced. Using the same spreadsheet, I wanna find all instances of candy name for gummies, but I wanna return a result for both in stock or out of stock in my COUNTIFS function. In order to do this, we'll start similar to before. We'll enter the COUNTIFS function. Criteria range will be, again, candy name. I'll enter a comma and enter gummies. For criteria range two, again, we'll use the stock status. For criteria two, we're gonna be entering an array. Open up the curly brackets. And first, we are looking for in stock. So I'll enter that in, enter a comma, and then our second value is out of stock. Close the curly brackets and close parentheses. After clicking enter here, you'll notice I don't quite get the result that I want. Excel is giving me a total for one for each column. However, I wanna see the total for the criteria that I searched for. In order to correct this function, we'll add the sum function in front of count ifs. After the sum function is added, all we need to do is add a closing parentheses to the end of our formula, click enter, and now we get our correct result. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel, leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see, and be on the lookout for the next video.